Hello and welcome to Swedish Linux. Linux, the right way. Okay, today we're going to have a reaction video about the mighty Titus. Everybody who started with Linux at one point or another during the last four, five, six years has met some videos made by Titus, especially videos about Linux and how he praised Linux up to the sky and in the same time he offloaded a big crap on Windows, especially Windows. And that for me was from the beginning very strange because he made himself a career of Windows. But anyway, he did a lot of things on Linux. He even compiled his own uh, Linux distribution and so on and so forth. He did actually everything that's possible to do with the Linux. He pretty much did it. And now suddenly from nowhere he jump Linux and go back to Windows after five, six years of putting crap on Windows pretty much every day and now he go back to Windows. He doesn't realize how bad it looks for the Linux community to have a giant like him abandon Linux and not only abandon, saying that there is no distro that fits him, but Titus. He could, you can do your own version of Linux. You have done it on your channels at least once or twice. You compile completely a new Linux. Then create a Linux version that fits all your needs. And your lame excuse that you need Windows to program for Windows? What a load of crap. I mean, a lot of people programming only on Linux for Windows or even for Mac OS. So this is lame, poor man's excuse that uh, he is just abandoned Linux. And that's sad because this kind of hypocrisy is what's hurting Linux a lot. I mean, if somebody starts watching his channel, how to become a Linux enthusiast and uh, switch over to Linux, and then suddenly you see a video that he give a crap about Linux and jump back to Windows. It says a lot. But I'm not going to talk more about it. Let's hear what he say himself. Now we're on his homepage in YouTube, and I will give the links in the description below. But here you can hear himself. Yeah, uh, to be honest, on Windows myself, not missing a thing. I just got bored and tired, to be honest, and sick of bouncing back and forth. And there's legit no Linux distro that I want. So I wasn't using Mac OS and Windows. I'm happy and don't want to change. You know, that's the thing. Just to be, people get like crazy. Like, And here you have it. Titus abandon Linux and blame that the people get religious, blame that people uh, have different opinion and how much he loaded crap on Windows, how much resource is taking and how much worse Windows is compared to Linux. And then this, I feel sad for this guy because he really did a lot of good uh, because he started with Linux about the same time I started with Linux, about five years ago, 2018, 2019. And I followed him for a long time. And it's sad to see that everything he said was a piece of load of crap. And now he's back on Windows. This is very sad, and he 
damage a lot of the Linux community. And then in the end, he feels guilty and says he still loves Linux. Uh, how can you love Linux when you're on Windows, Titus? Now, Titus, your hypocrisy has come forward. You either love Linux or you don't. You either love Windows or you don't. Uh, and of course you can use whatever you want. Uh, this is the free world. You can do whatever you want. But you don't live by the words you teach. And that's sad, Titus. Uh, because you really, really did a lot of good things for the Linux community. You guided me through the half hard parts of the Linux. And now I see you abandon it for Windows. Yes, I know you have your scripts and all that, that you can clean the Windows, but still it's much more messy than just create your own Linux distro. Base it in Debian or something. Or even if you want, you you can get a hold of a Steam OS uh, version and base it on that and create your own Linux and be happy and continue the good work you did for Linux. But now when you abandon it, too bad, too sad. Okay, enough talk about it. If you like this channel, please uh, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell notification. And we we'll see you soon.